One of the best stocks right now under $150 per share and why is $150 even an important match to shoot for and why are none of these in the tech space? Let's go ahead and break it down. All right, I am still coming over a sinus infection. It was wild. Thank you guys for bearing with me during this time and for all the emails and the thank yous and stuff in the comments. I do read them. It does make a difference. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a list. I'm telling you now, still a little stuffy. I might cough. Try not to as we go through the list. But first, why is $150 a metric that we even want to shoot for? That is because I think these stocks are best paired with our cover call investing strategy. Not something I invented, but I do show you exactly how you can invest in a stock that's going to make money and it's gonna pay you dividends, and you can do a cover call strategy to make even more money. If you go back to our video about two weeks ago on what I did with Packard, which is one of the companies on the list, you'll see I made $4,000 by using cover calls. So that is what you can add on top of these stocks that I think will do well if you don't buy hundreds of shares. I think if you buy you know, 10 or 12 or half a share, I think you can still do well with any of these companies on the list. But starting with the company that we just mentioned is Packard. PCAR is the stock symbol here. They were up 44% in the last six months and up about 84% over the last year. They're about $122 per share right now. First, remember, if you're going to do a cover call, you need to buy a minimum of 100 shares. You might be thinking, I don't have $12,200. That's fine. You can still buy the stock outright and continue to hold it. And if it does what it did last year, you still will make 84%. I'll take that, right? You can make the 84% and just take that and run with it. You don't have to do cover calls. I just think that's another way to make even more money if you have that strategy available to you. The Packard has been a very good, very consistent performer for me. When I had it, you guys saw all the receipts from when I bought it, when I sold it, and everything in between. You guys saw that $4,000 profit in that video. So. It's out there. I practice where I preach. Packard is still a very, very good quality company. Next here is the Pulte Group. Uh, PHM is the stock symbol here. They are a home building company. I still, to this day, have not found any research or articles that is, that's showing me why home building companies have done well. But they have. Okay, I'm still looking. I'm still looking, but they have done well. 59% gain in the last six months, <clears throat> up 98% over the last year. And I feel like nobody's talking about it. Right now, it's just at $115 per share. I think that is an amazing deal, especially if you're looking to do cover calls. But if not, $115 a share for a company that's up 98% in the last six months, bro, that's solid. That's real solid. And again, very underrated, very under the radar. And I think there's nothing in the way right now for this company to be derailed. Now, obviously, if there's some catastrophic black storm or black swan event for the entire stock market, then yes. But we don't really have anything on the calendar that we see that is going to really kind of shake this thing up, but we'll see, right? But I think this company is going to do well for the foreseeable future for me, which is six to 12 months, the foreseeable future. Next here is Capital One. Now, COF is the stock symbol here. This is the one I am most concerned about and that is because they were supposed to be trying to merge with discover i don't know if that's going to go through or not i ain't heard that about it since we did a video on it and i don't know where it is but surprisingly enough i feel like back when we did the video the stock wasn't worthy of talking about and now it is it's because they're up 53 percent in the last six months up about 51 percent over the last year and it's about 143 dollars per share so they're getting real close to 150 dollars they may not be on the list by the end of the week so we'll see where they are going to land the company's okay Okay, obviously the performance over the last, you know, recent history, recent memory is good. If you want to buy it, I have no, no faults there, but that the merger, that acquisition, investing, knowing that that's around the corner, at least in the air is a little concerning for me because I don't know how the stock is going to react if it goes through or if it does not go through. Sometimes investors like when a, something doesn't go through because they feel like they saved money and it's not going to be as detrimental to the company. You can look at Spirit Airlines and what was it, JetBlue and that whole saga and how that whole thing played out. They end up not merging. One stock did well, one did not. I don't know. I don't think that's going to be the same type of dynamic here with Capital One, but the fact that I don't know means I can't put a whole bunch of money in it. Okay, keyword with a whole bunch. Can I put some? Can I put a little bit? 
Man, maybe, right? But I don't I don't feel confident enough to say I'm putting all my money or ten or fifteen thousand dollars of my own money in the Capital One, knowing that that cloud is up there and I have no timeline, I have zero timeline on when that is supposed to happen. Okay, so you guys know if I had to choose where I put my money, y'all always saw me put it in PACAR. If I had a second choice, it would not be Capital One, even though it is a good company. All right. Next here is Indusol Rand. Now I know for a fact we've talked about this inside of our members only, also in the home building manufacturing space. They really do like the heating and air, I was gonna say coolants, but the heating and air uh, units and stuff like that that help home builders um, and do all the, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't wanna say periphery, that's too, too big of a word for me, but um, all the accessories, the accessories for home building and all this kind of stuff, they also make tools for people to use to build homes. Um, but the company is up 48% in the last six months and up 72% over the last year. Right now, it is $94 per share. $94 per share right now, okay? Now, by the time you're watching this, market moves, market changes. We'll see where it is at that point in time. But this is one of the top two on my list, okay? You're gonna see which one is number one, but Indusol Rand is absolutely a company that you should absolutely circle and you might wanna kind of bump that to the top of your list too. But what is number one on the list? What is number one on the list? We've got hmm, about four more. Before we get to it though, I do wanna let you guys know I do have a free PDF on how you can start to invest in 20 minutes or less. It's a free PDF. The link is right here below. I walk you through the entire investing process. Again, less than 20 minutes. You can read the PDF as many times as you need to to make sure that you get the entire process. I give you all the apps you need to know, all the things broken down, and everything you absolutely need to start investing today. All right, as we go through the list, next here is Masco. The stock symbol is M-A-S, also in the what? home building space. I'm gonna tell you something about the home building space here in a minute too. Up 47% in the last six months and up just 63% over last year. Just 63% as if that's not an incredible number. Now, when I make a lot of these lists, I'm us usually using a filter. So I'm looking for certain things. Is it in the S&P 500? Is it on the NASDAQ or something? Does it have these certain factors? And I just sort them out. And in this case, I just look by price. It just so happens that they are in the home building space. I didn't search for them. These are just the ones that just happen to be there. And on the day that I looked at this, and it's not the first day I've done this, a lot of home building companies are falling into this space. They are doing quite well. They just happen to be priced at the right price for us. So Masco makes the list at $77 per share. $77 per share. Next here is NRG. Now this is the company that I did, went ahead and put my own money into it. We actually did a video on this just last week. So I'm not gonna go back and explain all of the things on why I like NRG, but part of it is just $73, okay? That's the cheapest one on the list so far. Up 89% in the last six months and up 111% over the last year, okay? I, again, I don't need to explain why I like NRG. Okay, I've done enough on why I like the company. I think it, it makes obvious sense based on the context of our conversation today. But I still got two more. Okay, we're not done yet. Next here is Tara Targa Research Group. Um, there are right now, they're up 42% in the last six months and up 54% over the last year. Right now, they are about $115 per share. They're in the natural gas space. Now, I also have hinted at natural gas energies companies kind of coming back in style after the whole semiconductor wave we know that's like off the chart it's, it's gone okay it's, it's 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 up there okay so after those companies then i think energy is, is a place you want to look for and also a lot of these home builder companies um target resource is one of those and again flying relatively under the radar but doing incredibly well and pretty decent price for where the market is right now then we have a tech company, okay? So we have one tech company out of this entire list that is somehow still less than $150 per share. And I don't know why people keep sleeping on Micron. Micron is, is just as important in many aspects as as Intel, as um, as Nvidia, and many of the other chip manufacturers that everybody talks about, but I feel like no, I feel like Micron is like the Toyota Toyota Camry, the '98 Toyota Camry. Nobody likes it. It lasts forever. It is really reliable, 
and everybody's looking at all the other fast cars. They're looking at, you know, super micro computer or whatever that SMCI stock. And they're looking at NVIDIA and all these others. And those stocks are good. But don't don't sleep on all reliable here. So Micron is up 75% in the last six months and up 104% over the last year. Right now, this price is just $122 per share. I mean, look at wherever uh, NVIDIA is now. I, I don't know off the top of my head where it is right now. Uh, it's got, I know it's over $600 a share, okay, just to shoot conservatively, I know for a fact it has to be over $600 a share by now, if not seven or $800. Um, the other one, SMCI, I mean, that's well over $1,000 a share now, and it has really taken off recently. We did talk about that one inside our members only, but again... You can hold those companies. I have zero beef against those. Okay, we've talked about the money that I've made on a video, and you guys saw that video as well. So again, no beef. No beef with those companies. However, I also like to have those that are off the beaten path that not everybody is looking for that, again, has a good, reliable track record, and you want to have those too. So now that you have these companies, now I think you want to take a look and start to learn how to add a little bit more profitability. How can you add a little bit more to your portfolio using cover calls? If you want to learn how to do that and how I did that and made $4,000, then you want to check out this video right here.